Hey guys, this is Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're going to be installing the Paragon Performance oil catch can. This will fit the coupe and the convertible. This will keep that oil from being sucked out of the crankcase inside the intake manifold, causing that carbon buildup on the back side of the intake valves. Let's get to the install. Uh, a couple tools we'll need, panel pry tool. We need a four millimeter and a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. First thing we need to do is open the deck lid. This installs on the driver's side rear corner here of the engine bay, right here with the strut tower. We're gonna start here with undoing the mag ride connector. We're gonna release the red safety clip and then unplug it. Okay, and then we need to take our panel pry tool and we need to remove this from the strut tower. Now that we have that loose, we need to lift this bottom piece up so we can slide this clip out of here. So you just stick your flathead screwdriver in there and it will push and slide out the back, just like so. We will reuse that, so don't discard it. Next, you're gonna take your bracket that you have as well as one of the six millimeter Allen bolts and the 10 millimeter nut. And we're gonna install it through this hole here. The nut is gonna install in the hole that the wire harness came out of. And we're gonna install the nut here on the back side. We're just gonna loosely install that for now. And we're gonna take the second six millimeter Allen screw that we have. And on the front side of this bar, there's another hole down here that will line up with the hole in the bracket. So we need to install that. Okay. Now that those are started, we just want to make sure that we kind of slide the bracket all the way over till this is bottomed out against where the strut brace would be. And then you're going to use your four millimeter Allen and tighten this bolt and then grab your 10 millimeter wrench and your Allen and we're going to tighten the other bolt. Next, we need to reinstall this mag ride harness. So we need to make sure that we have the correct orientation as this connector needs to point down and we need to line up this tab so it locks into place correctly. So make sure your orientation is correct so the harness points down. You're gonna install the clip and then you're going to reinstall the harness back on there. Then you can plug in the mag ride connector and relock the red safety clip. So now that we got the catch can here, you got two screw options. It's gonna come with some black Phillips head ones, and it'll also come with some nice stainless steel Allen headed ones as well. We're gonna use the stainless steel ones. So we're gonna take these out. And you're gonna just slide the catch can underneath here. And just kind of line, line everything up, and then we're gonna install the screws. So the coupe, this is actually gonna be rotated this way, so the hoses will run parallel with this bar. On the convertible, this will need to be rotated out the other way, so it'll clear the coolant reservoir that's here. Uh, the hoses will reach for both cars. Uh, we're doing this on a coupe, so we're gonna orientate it back this way. And then tighten them down. These are the two and a half millimeter Allen screws. And just for vibration purposes, uh, suggesting putting just a tiny bit of Loctite on these, just some blue stuff. When you do go to service, you'll actually be able to reach in here as well and unscrew the can. You'll be able to unscrew the can without removing any of the catch can. So make sure the engine is at ambient temperature when checking the level in your catch can as you're working next to the exhaust and those components can be hot. All right, so now we're over here on the passenger side of the engine compartment. Uh, we have to remove the PCV hose, of course. That is actually this hose that connects here, and then the one that connects right here going underneath the intake manifold. Um, it's got a couple plastic clips on it here that we can undo and just rotate those up out of the way. And then we will suggest popping that one out of there as well. Uh, one another thing that makes it easier is you have these two down here that hook to the valve cover. It's a good idea to undo those, it makes it a little bit easier but they all have a button on the side of them that you will just depress and you can just pull up and off on all of these. Sometimes they can be a little stubborn. It helps to just push down on them a little bit while you depress the clip. And they come right off. 
has a plastic clip on the side. You just depress it and pull it up and off. And then we're just gonna fish that out of there. Now we're gonna bring the catch can hoses over. As you can see with the links, it kind of self-explanatory where they go. These clamps on the end here are actually left loose on purpose. So you can clock and rotate these to clip them on there and then you can tighten it down when you're finished. So we're gonna start with the easiest one here first. And you can route this kind of however you wanna route it around, around this stuff. And you'll be able to just push and then just push down on them until they clip. Just like so. And then we're gonna run the other one. Does the same thing. The hose will actually fit inside all these clips. So if you wanna route that through this kind of the same way that the OEM one came out, you'll be able to come right on down through here. And we'll clip the bottom one on. Now we're gonna reinstall the clips. and then reinstall the two fittings on the valve cover. So now we're gonna tighten these clamps down that are on the fittings. These are a two and a half millimeter Allen as well. And they don't have to be wildly tight, just snug them up. Now we need to do the same thing with the one back here. There you have it, it's a real simple install. Don't forget to check the level in it frequently and on a regular basis until you figure out what your car needs for a service interval on this. Every car can vary a little bit. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time.